hope you are doing good so in today's video we will be seeing how we can create flow diagrams and insert images in latex uh, using overleaf so uh, so this is the diagram which i am going to show you so you can create this kind of particular diagram uh, so like this is basically uh, to give you different steps of a process or to conceptualize a particular idea so it may be looking easy uh, but the coding is also easy so uh, this i have uh, took from this particular uh, website and this is the author of this uh, particular code so uh, you create a document class uh, with a border of uh, 10 point and it's a standalone and you use this particular package that is verbatim then there is another package to create these kind of diagrams uh, that is smart diagram and then there are meta logos and dtk logos then there are packages like graphic x smart diagram meta logo pgf gant so in this we'll be just using this smart diagram in order to create that entire uh, this particular diagram so this one single diagram is created with the help of only this package that is smart diagram so how do you do it so whatever you write between begin and end document those things will be shown in the pdf so you have a centering tag uh, which maintains the document at the center to prevent floating to the right or towards the left then this is the smart diagram and uh, you first mention which type of diagram you want to create so this will be a bubble diagram so you can see different bubbles mm, that is basically circles and then you basically input the values or whatever text you want to put into this that is first i have peer assessment so peer assessment goes at the uh, center of this uh, that is the big bubble then you have autonomous and grading so as you can see autonomous grading is shown like this so if i want to uh, write or concise the text uh, into this particular bubble itself if i uh, write autonomous grading all at once in a single line it will go out of this bubble so instead what i do is i just uh, uh, write a slash double slash and grading so that it goes at the uh, next level or the next line then you have anonymity as you can see here then defined rubrics which is here then oracle intervention uh, which is written like this and document formats which is also written like this that's pretty simple to create this kind of diagram uh, now I'll show you another diagram which is a little complex. Uh, yeah. So this particular diagram, as you can see, uh, this is a process diagram. So in the first step, you have some data preparation. Then you run uh, with the help of set of codes and then analyze and then modify or add something, then check for validation, and then again add a sixth step. So this is usually for a research question rq1 so this is how the process diagram is usually when you create some documents or make some presentations or want to uh, like uh, formulate your uh, process of how do you solve a particular research question or things like that so you need to uh, visualize the steps that you are taking in each uh, step so that uh, at what point you arrive at that particular uh, uh, solution so for that you have this kind of code it's a bit uh, um, lengthy but not that complicated because you need to have an understanding of the geometry of how it looks like I'll just uh, put back this into editor and PDF so that you can see hand in hand so first is a document class that is sticks standalone and i'm using the package smart diagram which i used to create uh, from the previous one 
then i need to have some basic uh, shapes that is from the geometry shapes uh, i have some calculator in order to calculate the angles as you can see there is a bent and each of the hexagon here has a uh, certain angle and uh, orientation as you can see in this diagram or th the distance between each of this uh, yeah so there are certain geometrics that you need to follow yeah so we begin the document and inside this command that is tick set will define our geometry so whatever you see here till this fi uh, this particular bracket that is a geometry to define uh, the shapes or the particular shape that you can see after the uh, hexagon and all so that is written with the help of this uh, so these are just standalone codes uh, planet dot append style and regular polygon regular polygon sides with uh, six sides so that is a hexagon and uh, then satellite dot append style so satellite is nothing but this small uh, shape it's not a triangle but uh, it's of uh, four sides so that is also regular polygon uh, of six sides and with every picture you need to rotate it towards the 30 degrees so there is a uh, uh, bend of uh, these things uh, to 30 degrees and then uh, you have the connection planet so uh, that is the style uh, for each of these uh, shapes uh, that is not the hexagon but this shape this particular polygon so you need to uh, fill at the edge of this so edge comes at this particular position so uh, wherever uh, you will feed the uh, input from the first step to the next step uh, this is where the side goes so that thing you have to match here so that's why you have a bend right style and edge style so you fill the columns so uh, you need to fill the color whatever is given so that is by default the color it takes uh, you can pass a different set of libraries to override the colors uh, that you wish to put into this uh, hexagons and to every path we add pgf extra and uh, we draw and fill each of these hexagons and uh, not the hexagon the polygon and we define ticks to start and ticks to target so ticks to start and ticks to target are nothing but the coordinate at the start and coordinate at the end so that's how you define uh, this particular uh, command that is at the rate start at the rate and at the rate target at the rate and then you end pgf extra and this is the rule that we will apply to create this particular cycle so uh, how it defines is if you have a num and that is has an value xi and if it's less than the maximum uh, items uh, that is to disable the last arrow that is nothing but after this particular polygon whatever arrow uh, uh, is there that should not be visible or uh, this is to show that this is the final step so before that whatever arrow is there it should follow so that's why this particular command is there that is to disable the last arrow and then you have this particular uh, code that is at the rate start 6 cm and 90 degrees uh, then target and towards the end you have 0 0.25 to 90 degree at the start so that's how this particular flow diagram can be uh, drawn and then uh, this is towards the end where it completes this particular cycle so as you can see this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degree but for this and for this uh, there is a bend uh, that is for 30 degrees uh, that you rotate it already here okay in this particular portion and then you end the cycle here and fi stands for end of this particular set so you end this particular tick set so this is a definition of how you create this polygon structure and then simply by using the smart diagram we uh, pass what kind of diagram we want to have so this particular diagram is called as a connected constellation diagram and uh, we pass in the values uh, or the text 
uh, whatever you want to write into this uh, polygon that is rq1 then data preparation run analyze modify and add check and add a sixth step yeah so it is uh, pretty easy so this part is easy to follow but uh, only this definition that you have to write according to your use case how you want to modify this particular diagram you can easily uh, make use of that okay so these are the uh, two diagrams or the flow diagrams and a connected constellation diagram that you can create in overleaf you can uh, export this to pdf and add to your uh, document or to the report now how do you add to your uh, pdf uh, that's how you do in this way so this is another document which uh, i have taken or already made before so this is one particular report that i have did so here you can see um, there is a table we have seen how to create tables and this is an image okay that is created with the help of a program and you can see uh, the table and image are uh, towards each side uh, if you see this a table written so this is a caption uh, just to show this is a table but actually this is an image so you can see there is a table as well as there is an image uh, kept side by side here you can see two figures uh, that is figure 1 and figure 2 uh, putting two images or putting two tables or putting one table or put one images side by side so that is the main goal of uh, this uh, particular document so we'll see how we can do that so first uh, you have all the document class and the use packages libraries i will not go into that detail so we first begin with the section here that is hierarchical agglomerative clustering as you can see it is the title of this uh, document then uh, you have begin table so that is nothing but this table one which you see here then there is a mini page so how you uh, put two tables side by side or one table one image or two images side by side is with the help of mini page so in mini page basically you keep the line width so here i kept the line width as 0.5 or whatever text size that you are putting uh, in this document you can keep that also just to override or you can put your own uh, uh, line width whatever you wish to have then there is a centering so that the uh, tables or the images should appear at the center then you first create a table structure that is tabular okay and everything should be at the center then you uh, make a line we have already seen this how to create tables and uh, then you have this particular entry that is points and you fill them horizontally first that is a b c d f and then you put two lines so that's why you can see a breakdown of this cells okay so there is a gap between this header and the entries that is the column names and the entries and then uh, just to make this particular value or uh, entry as bold you put in text bf okay and then you enter the values horizontally uh, like 8 9 14 2.5 6 and 7 and similarly text bf over y and then you enter the values horizontally okay and then you must end this particular table so that's why you have a h line for this end of the table you end the tabular you put the caption data and that's how you can see as data and you insert the label as tab one then you end the mini page and then you fill it horizontally so horizontally is to uh, put the image here so for that you begin a mini page again line width 0.5 because you need to have both uh, intact you should not uh, go outside of the margin or outside of the page and then you have centering and this is how you insert an external image into a pdf so you uh, use the command include graphics and within that you have uh, width and height of each of the image okay and the name of the image that you already have in this so that is my table 
so this is the image that i'll be inserting into this yeah and then there is a caption that is euclidean distance matrix and the label of this so that i've just given randomly and you end the mini page and end the table so similar thing you have to follow for inserting two figures side by side so that is nothing but this so uh, this is for by using single min s link linkage so it is for this particular uh, figure you have two figures side by side it is the same way how you do but here uh, you mention some additional parameters uh, like b or ht to prevent floating of these images because what happens is like when you write some text these two images floats on to the second page so it's very difficult to follow where your uh, image you are pointing to or to what section you are referring to so in order to prevent that you have this ht just to prevent floating of these images onto the entire document and here i just mention as 0.7 0.47 little bit text width not 0.5 according to uh, how my document needs to be rendered so this is how you insert images and put a caption you end mini page and you put a q chord q chord is uh, for this uh, particular gap between these two images so that has to be consistent throughout the entire document so uh, that's how you uh, put two images side by side and likewise uh, you have uh, other diagrams also figure dendrogram we can uh, use the same logic to uh, put two images side by side as well so well that was all regarding in this video hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thanks a lot for your attention